This is a cat, right? But... This is also a cat? How does our brain recognize them as the same thing? Our brains use a biological neural network composed of hundreds of billions of neurons and the connections between them. These help us interpret the signals we receive to think and make decisions. Machines can do this too. Using artificial neural networks, they can mimic how the neurons in our brains behave. Artificial neural networks are composed of layers made of nodes, which form the same function as the neurons in our brains. A neuron is made up of three parts, the dendrites, the cell body, and the axon. The dendrites receive information or signals from other neurons that are connected to it. Then the cell body takes in all this information and processes it. Then, the axon sends an output signal to another neuron to continue the flow of information. Similar to the dendrites, a node starts with an input layer that receives inputs in data form. Then, the information is processed like it is in the cell body. To each of its incoming connections, a node will assign a number known as a weight. When the network is active, the node receives a different number over each of its connections and multiplies it by the associated weight. Then it adds the resulting products together, yielding a single number. If that number is below a threshold value, the node passes no data to the next layer. If the number exceeds the threshold value, the node fires, which means sending the number along all of its outgoing connections, similar to how the axon sends an output signal to all of its connected neurons. These neural networks learn to perform tasks by using examples, usually without being programmed with task-specific rules. Instead, they automatically generate identifying characteristics from training data that they process. In this case, images labeled cat or not cat. By adjusting the values of their associated weights, the networks can produce different outcomes. But why does this matter? Well, just how computers can learn how to recognize whether something's a cat or not, they can learn to recognize human faces. Just think of how you unlock your smartphone. And machine learning programs are only the building blocks. There's so much more we can do with this technology. But don't go worry about robot uprisings just yet. I'd worry about the cats first.